Stanford University. We've built a submarine that can move around inside the body and can be controlled externally with a remote control. What this allows you to do is explore the body in very non-invasive ways and to treat new types of diseases and also get new types of information about what's happening inside the body. It's sort of like one of those cartoons where they send a doctor inside a person to fix something, but instead of sending a human or sending a doctor, we're actually sending a chip. Here we have the actual device, which is size three by four millimeters. The patient is placed in some sort of static magnetic field. In the animation, we depict this as a table. This allows the device to both be very small and also very power efficient. Here's the antenna that transmits data and power wirelessly to the device. Nice steering, man. that's perfect. We are able to turn the implants to a certain direction to steer them by controlling the current on the different electrodes of the implant. By turning the different switches, we can tell the device to either go forward, turn left, or turn right. And we can see the data is changing on the device here, on this oscilloscope, by changing these switches. Currently, we are brainstorming with the medical community and looking for potential applications. Doing things like putting a catheter in the heart and very precisely directing it to specific tissue is an application that can happen in the very short term. Usually when people work on chips or on biomedical devices, it's usually stationary objects that take some measurements or do something like that. In our case, it's something that moves inside of body. When you tell this to people, people get really excited. These sort of technologies haven't even been possible before, and so the applications that it can serve really don't exist at this point. It sort of opens up a whole new realm of applications for medical technology. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.